Hello beautiful people, hope you're having an amazing day. You are a star, don't let anyone dim your light. Today I'm going to share with you five ways to boost, to boost your plant protein intake, okay? So whether you are vegetarian, newly vegan, okay, you've been lifting for a while, whether you just want to eat more whole foods, want to just improve your plant protein intake, you've come to the right place. I am a vegan coach and athlete and I'm here to help you get the most out of your diet and the most out of your vegans. So welcome, if you find this video helpful, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this and hit the notification button as well. Press the like button if you find, if you find it helpful and you can tune in uh, to more content like this, okay? Any questions, just DM us on the socials, okay? Instagram and Snapchat, TikTok as well. Now let's get right into it. What are the five ways to boost your plant protein intake? I've put on, so I've shared about, I've got a five year list of five, okay? I'm gonna share with you the grams per hundred and then of course the benefits as well. So we'll start with the lowest one and then we'll work our way up with the, um, the shockingly last one, which is pretty amazing. It's quite um, high in protein and very versatile as well. So. Let's get into it. Five ways to boost your plant protein intake. Let's go. So the first one we're gonna go with is quinoa. Quinoa, it's an ancient grain. Um, it's sourced in South America, right? And it is a great way to improve your plant protein intake, okay? So I like to use it in salads, okay? You can add it to your uh, rice as well. When you cook a bit of rice, just add it some quinoa as well. It's another, it's a fantastic way to boost your protein intake, okay? And um, I think you can also have it as a cereal. I've never tried it, okay? Um, but you can have it as like a cereal. Um, so quinoa is the first one. Now it is at 4.4 per 100, but think about it. You add it to a bit of salad, you add a bit to a rice, you know, you get, let's say 100 to 150, you're already on 15 grams, like in your daily intake. So that's pretty good. That's pretty amazing. Uh, what are the, some of the benefits? Let's go, so it's a complete source of protein. So you've got all nine essential amino acids, which is fantastic. Apparently you can't get enough fucking protein on, you can't get <laughs> a complete source. Well, guess what? Ken was one of them. Um, it is anti-inflammatory. Okay, so really good for your joints. Um, really good for eradicating disease and you know minimizing the potential harm of cancers and il illnesses which is fantastic it is also alkaline okay alkaline okay if you know dr sebi he really preached a lot about consuming an alkaline diet okay which means it's going to balance your ph level okay so you're not too acidic right and it's going to help reduce the risk of cancers illnesses and diseases which is fantastic you know i love this stuff it's very light okay um and yeah it's it's fibrous okay really which is really good for our gut okay getting our bowels moving it helps also to balance our blood sugar levels okay and like i said it's really good to add to salads and rice not only that it's gluten free so great source of protein i love this i have this at least a few times a week and yeah, pretty simple, little, nice little hack there. And away we go. So that's number one. Okay, number two, what's the second plant protein hack to boost your intake? Okay, so we're gonna go with protein powder. Now, I know, I know a lot of people aren't really for processed foods, okay, but protein powder is just another way to just get those numbers up, right? I don't, I don't like to um, encourage people to consume it. I think if you can add it, fantastic, right? It's just like modifying your car a little bit. But ultimately, it's a great way to improve your protein protein intake, right? So you could add this to your shake, your smoothies, your smoothie bowls, yogurt, right? Adding it to yogurt, make it, turning it into like a fudge pudding, right? You can add it to desserts, you can make it as cakes. It is a fantastic way to just sneak it in there and get those numbers up. Um, it's low in calories, it is uh, low in saturated fats, really good for your heart health, and it's fibrous, good for our gut health, and it's also high, depending on the protein, but generally high in omega-3s threes threes and 6, okay, good for our brain health. Now, what's the average per 100 with plant protein? It's about 18.2, right? I, 
I consume uh, hemp, hemp Australia. Uh, that's my brand. I'll, it's very hard for me to consume that, uh, consume protein that are very processed with all the different flavorings and all that. And I get quite bloated. I find hemp, hemp Australia um, really good for me. I don't get as bloated. I really, it's really light for me. But 18.2, not too bad. You get two serves a day. That's almost, that's 36 grams in one go, in one day. That's easy, easy peasy, right? Um, so that's number two, okay? Number two at 18.2 grams. Now, number three, number three is lentil pasta. Now this, this was like a hit, it was like, who, why, why weren't we showing this earlier, right? It's like, this is a great hack to get your protein intake to that next level, right? Um, sitting at 28.8 grams per hundred. Per hundred, now you get a couple of hundred of those in a serving, you're already on 60 grams. And that's not to add with the next one, which I'll share with you in a moment, but that's just the protein, that's just the pasta alone, right? So you could just have that, not add any tofu or anything else, and you're already at 60 grams of protein. Like that's, that's incredible. That is a high, that is a high number, right? So 28.8 grams per 100, it's a great source of B vitamins, right? It's a great source of folate, okay? It is a great source of iron as well, okay? It's gluten-free. It's a great alternative to regular pasta, which has a lot of gluten, okay, a lot of wheat, um, and it's super high in protein. It's fibrous, great for our gut, okay? And yeah, it's just such, such a really good way, especially during the week, if I'm feeling like I have been down some days on my protein intake, I'll get a heap of pasta and I'll just smash a big bowl, okay, to catch up on my numbers and I'll add a bit more sources of protein, okay, one of them which we'll get into next. And there you go, you're already at almost 80 grams, like adding tofu, adding another alternative to that mix. Like that is amazing, that is amazing. So lentil pasta, number three. Number four, we are going with my favorite one. Okay, this is my favorite because I add this to everything. I add it to everything, right? Um, it's the, probably arguably the healthiest of the bunch because it is a whole food. And it is just so versatile. I think it's so great for the, uh, let's see, the ecosystem, okay? It's environmentally friendly. Uh, it's just amazing, amazing. I love this stuff. I have this all the time. I, I smash through this packet a week pretty easily. So. Coming at number four, we have 31.6 gram per hundred. We have hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are incredible, a great source of protein, okay? 31.6 gram per hundred, that is crazy good. Now, you can add this stuff to toast. You can add this stuff to smoothies. You can add this stuff to salads. You can add this stuff to pasta. You can add this stuff to um, what else? Your rice, you, you can add this to so much, right? Just a tablespoon at each, and before you know it, you're on 30 grams of protein in your day. Like, imagine all the things that we've already had, you're already on 120 grams of protein. So there's absolutely no reason why you can't get at least 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram, okay, of body weight, or half a gram per pound of body weight, right? So hemp, hemp seeds, amazing, amazing. I love having them on toast. I love having them on salad. I love um, adding it to pasta as well. It's just so good, so, so good. So hemp seeds, really high levels of omega threes and sixes. It is a complete source of protein. Take that, meat eaters, carnivores. No, seriously, it is a great source of hemp protein. Uh, complete protein, right? Great for our heart health, okay? Great for our brain health, okay? With the mega threes and sixes. And it is a great source of soluble and insoluble fiber, okay? It's got a lot of um, really amazing benefits to our gut, right? To, to lubricate it and to keep things flowing by, add, by add, adding a bit more weight to our, um, our waste, right? So absolutely amazing. And for the ladies as well, Ladies, this is a great uh, way to reduce your PMS and menopause symptoms. So um, 
This is absolutely amazing. This is a great hack to boost your plant protein intake. Okay, now what takes the, the cake, what takes the, the crown for the highest um, source of protein per 100? Now, arguably, I didn't add it to the list simply because the serving isn't, you're not gonna get as much, but I'll mention it on the other one, the next one. However, this one takes the cake uh, simply because of its amount per 100, right? And the fact that you can use this to a, to a lot of things, right? So next, number five, we have at 51.5 grams of protein per 100, okay, is TVP, textured vegetable protein, which can come in different forms. Typically it comes from soy, right? Um, I think it comes with like fava, fava beans or other things as well, very similar to soy. But basically it is an, an alternative to mince, right? You can act like a mince, right? And it is such a great way to boost your protein intake. Now, like I said, remember, I spoke about the pasta before. You add lentil pasta, you add mince, sorry, TVP, you add tofu, and you add hemp seeds, you'll have a plate of at least 100 grams of protein in that bowl. Come on, man, that, like, that is ridiculously crazy. So it is a great alternative to mince pasta, right? It is a great way to add to your burritos, to your tacos, okay, to your nachos, whatever you fucking add to your mince that you used to have for your mince. This stuff is fantastic. So you basically, you just soak it in um, a bit of water and you'll see the volume increase. And honestly guys, it is just like mince. So if you don't have this already, get in it. And it's super cheap to buy. You can get maybe 500 grams or 200 grams for like 10 bucks. And this thing can last you a long time if you don't use this um, that often. But getting into the benefits, boost your heart health, okay? uh despite it being processed it is quite a uh quite a good source of protein right fibrous again okay great for our gut health then we've got a complete source of protein take that nine amino acids and yeah it is just very easy it's i always have it in the pantry and you know whenever i want to again improve my protein intake have that with pasta and boom there you go that is the five that is the five ways to hack and boost your plant protein intake. Now, it didn't make it on the list, but another one, which is I have compulsively, okay? I'm, it's a mandatory, I have it in my smoothies. Um, you probably won't get lots of protein, but it is another source of protein. It is spirulina. Spirulina has a tremendous amount of protein per 100 there's i think about 60 or 70 grams i'll leave the, the fact sheets here but basically it is so dense in minerals vitamins it is absolutely crazy good for you so many greens great for our heart health brain like this thing is just absolutely amazing spirulina i i take that all the time you can get some that's mixed with uh chlorella you know all these other greens that is great for our body you know, that is gonna boost your overall health as well, not just the protein, okay? So um, those are the five, those are the five ways to boost your plant protein intake, okay? Whether you wanna build more muscle, whether you just wanna add more mass, okay? Whether you just wanna improve your numbers, okay? You wanna go into competitions, you wanna just improve your overall health, this is it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, okay? Leave two thumbs up one here and then press that button down below hit the notification button and subscribe for more helpful videos like this if you need some help with your coaching simply go to my website at danieljohnallen.com and if you've got any questions just leave them down below guys or add us on the socials daniel john allen on instagram and snapchat and you've got the tiktok as well daniel j allen i appreciate you hope this video found you helpful kind of helpful okay i'm here to help you guys level up your V gains and really improve your overall health. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Stay woke, blessed, and alkalized. Peace out, much love, and go get those gains. Go enjoy those gains. Keep killing it at the gym. You're doing bloody amazing. And I'm so damn proud of you. Whether you're trying to transition into a vegan lifestyle or just you know get more cruelty-free 
sources of protein, or you just wanna you know, eat healthy and eat better. Good on you, I'm proud of you, and you're amazing. Keep going.